ruling yet on setting bond for South Georgia Pastor Ken Atkins, who has been in jail in Brunswick since last month facing child molestation charges. After a three-hour hearing, a judge told the court he will announce his decision on bond tomorrow. Channel 4's Elizabeth Campbell was in the Glenn County courtroom. The bond hearing for Ken Adkins started at 1.30 this afternoon and went until about 4.30 at the Glenn County Courthouse behind me. And at the end of those final minutes, the judge decided he will make a decision by tomorrow morning. So Adkins left the courthouse, headed back to the Glenn County Jail. Now I want to show you video from when he was inside the courtroom, along with about a dozen people watching. Now, uh, Adkins remained today in his green jumpsuit, and the defense first started by calling four witnesses to the stand. All were pastors from around the southeast and each of them say that they know Adkins well, many of them considering him a good friend. All four said if he were to be released on bond before the trial, they didn't believe he would pose any threat to the community, would intimidate witnesses, or would commit a felony crime before trial. Because of that, they asked that the judge give Adkins a reasonable bond by the court system. Now, the state didn't call any witnesses to the stand, but they did play two jailhouse phone calls Adkins made both in early September, one to an unknown woman and one with the best friend of the man who, char who filed these charges against Adkins. Now, in the second recording that was played by the state, they said that Adkins said something along the lines of they haven't given me a bond yet but when they do I'm jumping implying that he was a flight risk but the defense says that he didn't say he was jumping but that he would jump on the bond implying that he would take advantage of being able to make the bond now the district attorney is asking for no bond from the judge but they say if a bond is given they ask that it be at least one million dollars they ask that Atkins wear an ankle monitoring bracelet and that he not be allowed around children but the defense is of course asking for a much lower bond of 10 to fifty thousand dollars a decision is scheduled to be made by the judge by tomorrow morning he says he will fax it to the attorney on both sides and as soon as we learn that decision we'll of course let you know on air and on newsforjax.com reporting from glenn county elizabeth campbell channel 4 the local station